Hi guys, this is Rafi Dean and welcome to Art AV. Today's video is something a little bit different. I'll be doing a vlog just to tell you a little bit more about myself. So just to give you a little bit of idea about who I am, why I'm doing this, and just a little bit of background about my career and what I want to do with this channel. So just to start off, as you know, I'm Rafi. I've been working in this industry, as I mentioned, close to about 20 years now. And I've been basically working uh, in entertainment, TV, and theater, uh, doing all kinds of work in video, sound, uh, even a little bit of like stage crew work here and there. My main um, experience and expertise will be more in sound and video. So for this channel, basically, I'm putting together all my years of experience and sharing with you uh, those that want to get into the industry and also those that are already in the industry and just want to fine-tune your skills or just want to share more information to help others who are just starting out. So I'm, I'm, I, I don't consider myself as an expert in everything but I must say that through the years of experience I think I've gathered enough knowledge to kind of just want to uh, impart this knowledge with the, to the younger generation and even to just a layman so you can understand a little bit more about what we do here in technical production. So when I was about 16 to 17 years old, I started tinkering about with uh, AV systems and just kind of genuinely uh, curious about how these things work. Actually, years ago, I never thought I'd be working in this entertainment industry. So I've been actually uh, kind of fell into this industry on accident. Because uh, after school, I basically got used to working uh, part-time, uh, little jobs here and there and because I got into film school I started to hang around people who are more into the entertainment industry. When I got out of film school I was decided to do a bit of part-time work. Uh, I was looking for jobs here and there and uh, a local theatre company was looking for some uh, someone to work with them uh, to do sound and video. Uh, so that's where kind of my breakthrough uh, in the theatre industry. So I started working with a company called Theatre Works and we did a lot of uh, avant-garde uh, theatre uh, pieces that uh, started out in Singapore and also toured overseas. So that's where I started to learn how to mix audio uh, on the fly, uh, on the job, and also how to work with uh, video switches, projection, and other kinds of uh, equipment that we use. So that's kind of my first foray into the uh, performing arts. Uh, prior to that, of course, I was only doing uh, sound for TV. So I did a lot of boom operator and sound recording uh, for documentaries, TV dramas, and uh, even one local movie that, uh, that was featured uh, in, in some of the festivals uh, overseas. So by the time I was in uni, uh, I was already working in theatre for quite some time, uh, just picking up where, wherever I can uh, in freelance work and stuff like that. So my interest in theatre really got cemented as, uh, as I just did more and more shows and it got more and more interesting to see the type of events and the kind of creative work and uh, really the kind of hard work that goes into developing a theatre piece. And all that is needs to be supported by good technical work. So if the technical part of it is not as strong as the artistic and creative part of it, then the entire package kind of doesn't really work out. So when I was starting out, it was, it was a great opportunity to work with some key uh, sound engineers uh, and sound designers from Singapore and also from overseas and it was a good chance to to learn from them as well and just to see that how important the technical production part of it is to develop a show and sometimes the director wants to do something really wild or really unique and you need some really good technical know-how to kind of pull it off even if you can't pull it off at least you can offer an alternative and that's how we kind of crack our brains and really start to develop our creative mind in the technical field so it's not just technical production that is about uh, just plugging things in, packing boxes uh, and setting things up but it's a really creative problem solving uh, in, in this part of the, of the work which is very interesting and something that I really look forward to for any event that I do even today. When I first started out, I didn't really think that this would be my dream job so to speak. I didn't really think much about uh, dream jobs. In fact, uh, I was I was as happy doing whatever freelance work that was available. It could be in sound, it could be in uh, lighting, it could be in video, or just a, just a camera grip, you know, just to follow someone and kind of follow coiling cables and things like that. I was happy doing that. Uh, but what I really uh, learned over the years was to hone the skills and to kind of work on what you're good in. I figured out that I was more tuned to 
understanding and developing sound system designs and just that, that, that part of me was a bit more in, in, inquisitive and I started to learn a bit more uh, in depth about sound design. And so that was kind of the key area that I focused on. And also the other interest is in video, which is uh, not just a video projection or system, but also started to work on a bit of video art myself. A few friends were really studying about how to do projection mapping. So in as early as 2010, we were working on uh, some projection mapping projects here in Singapore and really just pushing that out and being the, one of the first few to get that out into the commercial space as well. Video and sound, uh, these are the kind of the key elements that I really like to work in. Uh, over the years, it's just to kind of hone that skill like I mentioned, just to do a bit more, uh, put in a little bit more effort and to understand a little bit more about how it works and just recognizing where my strengths and weaknesses are kind of developed over the years and kind of it, it, it molds me into this these are the roles that I, that I carry nowadays, which is uh, more of a technical director, a technical management role where I oversee the overall operations of a performing arts centre or even uh, individual projects, concerts and event spaces as well. So I started this channel to really share my knowledge that I've gained over these years to really help uh, those who are just starting out and also to create a platform for other professionals in this industry to share their knowledge with others as well. So I really use this uh, YouTube space to talk about the kind of gear that we use, uh, also the, the new technologies that are coming out and how we can uh, implement this and also really get the word out about what we do here in uh, technical production in theatre and event space as well. So you'll see product reviews, I've, seen, I've done a few uh, reviews of products that are recently launched and also I'll be doing a few more in the upcoming series in the later part of May and June where I'll feature certain products that are really useful for what I do uh, in this space and also uh, new products that would help anyone get what they want to do done just right. So I'm really happy that there are people following me here on YouTube because when I started this, I didn't really know whether there'd be anyone watching. But of course, there are many of you who are encouraging and letting me know the kind of topics you want me, you want me to cover in my videos. So it's a great time to really share with me in the comments below what kind of topics you would like us to cover on this channel. We can talk about uh, really technical stuff and also really basic 101 stuff, which are the kind of unique uh, topics that I want to do for this channel. So it's more about sharing knowledge sharing information and to let people understand what we do and why we do what we do. So that's about all I want to share right now. So if you want to find out a bit more about myself, uh, just leave me a comment in the comment section below with your questions and I'll get back to you on that quite soon. So this has been Rafi Din. Thank you for watching and thank you for the encouragement. We'll see you in next week's video.